Hey everybody, my name is Kedemar, welcome back for another video of NHL 22 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series, boys. We uh, started off pretty bad with our records, our first 10 game of record, boys. Ten, 3 and 7, it's not good at all. Our pro our players are actually producing, they're doing alright. As you can see, Young Croc, 13 points in 10 games played, he's doing great. But my team itself is not going good. So what I ended up doing is I switched up my strategies uh, at the last, uh, at the end of the last video, and we'll see if that works out. And also, I decided to switch up my lines a little bit. So instead of having Donato on the third line, I switched them up with Tanev. Tanev is going to be playing uh, playing on the uh, third line, and that's pretty much all I changed. I didn't change anything else. The rest seemed fine for me. I also put up uh, Fleury and Larson. Larson, I downgraded him for uh, Don, even though he was playing great with Giordano. We're going to try Don in there. Uh, I'm basically focusing on the agility part. Uh, so whoever's got the most agility, I feel like, uh, I feel like we're going to trust that uh, department, boy. So we'll uh, continue to sim right away. We'll see if it, anything changes. So the first game against uh, Buffalo. We do, we do end up winning it. So there we go. There's a W, boys. Shootout win for us. It's not a regulation win, but at least it's a win. So we'll take, it will take whatever we can get right now. Uh, we'll game against Arizona. A 7-2 loss. Not good whatsoever, boys. Really not good. We got to try and make uh, or uh, do it better, boys. We can't be having big time losses like these. Uh, the uh, the Vegas Golden Knights a six to two loss, not good. We're like it seems like when we're losing, we're losing big time. And look at that! Now we got to finally a W. So at least there's another W against the uh, Anaheim Ducks, and uh, 15 games right there. That's going to be a shootout loss. We got a point out of that. It doesn't seem like we're going to have a fantastic season. Seems like we're struggling quite a bit, boys. Blackhawks, there we go. There's a win. We might be doing a little bit better. Uh, there we go. There's a regulation loss against uh, Colorado. Uh, the Capitals, another loss. God damn. That is a lot of losses, boys. I am not going to lie right here. We're 18 games played and we keep losing in regulation. There's a, a, a win. An overtime win, boys. So at least we're getting some Ws. We're getting more Ws than the previous time. And let's keep it going. And that's going to be a shootout loss. So we got a point out of that as well. So in the last 10 games, if we, if we take a look, it was all the way up at the Buffalo Sabres game, right? Yeah. So how many? We got two shootout losses and we got a shootout win. I don't know if I, I should switch the shootout a little bit because that's bonus points that we could possibly get right there. We are gaining. I think we're we're not gonna change lineups. It feel like we're doing okay. Young Croc still got uh, 22 points in 20 games played. We did a little bit better. Four, four, and two. It's still like a, it's half, so it's, it's decent enough. But we still have much, uh, a lot of room to uh, upgrade. I guess it is that first line's not doing good. Uh, uh, minus two overall is probably really hurting them quite bad, uh, badly. They're not playing well together. I think having two two ways where the sniper is really hurting them. There's not a lot I can do though. Second line seems to be working pretty good. Uh, third line not too good, boys, and the fourth line not too good either. So if we look at goals for per game. We, uh, I'm not sure if we went down or up. I think we're doing okay so far. We're still doing okay for the goals for. Uh, goals against, still doing pretty bad. So 3.7. I gotta, I gotta mark it down just to, to know if uh, we're bad or not. So 3.7 uh, for uh, goals against, boys. And uh, let's see real quick. Power play, it's 16%. I think it's going up. Yeah, it was the worst power play, right? So our power play, it, well, actually, it was one of the good power plays. So our power play is actually going down, I think. Uh, power, penalty kill? Our penalty kill is still the worst at 70%. 70.3%. Uh, yeah, not good. So that's the, the penalty kill. Not good at all. So we got to switch it up. Uh, let me uh, modify the penalty kill as well. Don't want to modify the lineups at all. I'm just going to modify the strategies. So... If none of these two, so if 
diamond or large box doesn't work it seems like it's going to be passive box that's going to be you're going to have to work boys so all right let's continue to sim really quick first game right there the uh, next summation there goes six to four win against uh, the uh, florida uh, that's going to be a 3.9 for as uh, a young croc as well right there uh, uh there we go let's get a, a w right here yanni gold got injured not good so we're gonna have to replace him really quick boys let's replace him with our um depth uh, player so johansson uh gets to play in there now do we want to play him he's 75 of durability so yeah we want to switch it up switch it up like this and there we go now he's still part He's not really good, is he? No, he's 75 of durability, so he can only play on the fourth, uh, fourth line. We got an 85 right here. They're all 85, these guys, so now I can switch it up. Yeah, that's a three. What if I do this? No matter what I do, it's a minus one either way. Let's just put Wember because it's going to at least be a minus one uh, in there. So let's just keep it like that. And let's keep simulating. That was a loss for Buffalo against Buffalo. Not good. Can we get a win? There we go. There's a win against uh, Detroit, boys. Uh, there we go. Gets a win. There we go. We got another win against uh, the Oilers, which puts us, boys, at two wins in a row, which is the first time it hap actually happens for us in this season. So our first two wins in a row. Uh, Johansson, what did he do for us in the meantime? He actually had three points. Three points in two games played. He, they're actually doing really good together. Uh, these four guys on the fourth line very interesting and blackwell not well i might change blackwell then i just play uh change blackwell boys for a uh, yanni gold i think that's what i'm gonna end up doing right here so let's change blackwell real quick uh yanni gold is gonna be back in there and yeah let's try uh to keep your anson i think your anson's been doing good so far let's keep him up boys let's keep him in there against pittsburgh we got another uh, injury that this time is in the minors. Let's see who we can replace him with. Uh, we can replace him with one of uh, the defensemen. So I guess we're going to have to replace him with Baudouin, boys. Uh, let's just do our due diligence right here. Let's just do that. Uh, Baudouin, he's 85. Actually, yeah, he's well above these guys. So he's got to play on the fourth, uh, on the first line. So a defenseman playing center in the fourth line, boys. What do you, uh, in the first line. What do you know? All right, so we did end up losing against Pittsburgh. We get a trade-off right here. They want to get the Arizona Coyotes want to give us the a second round pick in exchange for a backup Drieger in a fourth line or a fourth round pick. Not going to happen. Absolutely not going to happen. I'm not going to allow that. Let's continue sim against Winnipeg. That's going to be another regulation loss. Not good. Uh, Columbus Blue Jackets. There is a win. There we go. That's what I like to see. Uh, True is back, so let's put him back where he's supposed to be playing. So, put him back right here, boys. There we go. And Shehan's actually supposed. Well, that's because he's, he can play left wing as well. Yeah, I, I'm missing a lot of players in the minors. Uh, so yeah, there we go. So we're gonna keep him in there, True. And let's keep uh, let's keep simulating, boys, against the Saint George Sharks. There's another W, two wins in a row. Against the Anaheim Ducks, a third win. There we go, third win in a row, boys. That's really good. We're having some, some minor success here. Uh, much better record right now. In the last game, the last uh, the 30th game, we end up losing in regulation against uh, the Oilers. But overall, the last 10 games was a record of 6-4. and four, So our, by far our, our best record, boys. It was by far our best right there. So if we uh, in Young Croc keeps going great, really good. We gotta uh, we gotta keep him with these two players. That third, second line is doing really good, boys. Let me uh, just go and see the stats now, the team stats, and see uh, what is uh, what is worse, what's better. So we went up for goals for, which is really good. Goals against was at 370 last time, and uh, now it went down. So that's really good. That's a good sign, boys. That is a good sign. It's actually going down, so we're playing better defensively. Uh, power play wise, we were at 16. We're going up for the power play. Good. And the penalty kill, we were at 70. And we're now at 73. So everything is doing better, boys. We're having we're having better success 
let's keep it going. Uh, if we, since we're having success right here, let's keep it going. I feel like we're doing fine. So uh, let's just see real quick. There's a win against Toronto. There we go. Uh, uh, can we get another win? Alexia got injured again uh, in that game. So we just lost our sixth defenseman. We're going to put Susie in there, I guess, our depth defenseman. Um, is he any good? He's actually 80 overall. He's an 85 of durability, which is the same as a Chola Whiskey. Uh, I'll keep Chola Whiskey in there, I guess, in, the, uh, in that line. We did end up winning 8-2, to or 8-2 to win against the uh, Arizona Coyotes right there. Really good. Uh, we have a loss against the... Uh, the Calgary uh, Flames. Let's see real quick against Vancouver Canucks. Oh, a big time loss. And the Canucks are not a good team. So we don't have any excuses there. Uh, Philadelphia Flyers, another regulation loss. There's a win finally against uh, Calgary. Can we get a, a revenge against them? There we go. We got a revenge against the uh, Vancouver Canucks boys. Uh, against the Islanders. There's a loss. Not good. Regulation loss, boys. And against, uh, okay, so what is this? Arizona, once again, two second rounders this time. Not going to happen. I'm not giving you Drieger. Not going to happen, buddy. We're at 39. One more game to simulate. And can we win it, please? A shootout loss. Damn. So we're at 40 games played. Half of the season done, basically. So half the season done right here. And uh, we went back to... Bad assimilation, four, five, and one. I uh, don't think we're gonna make it to the playoffs. We still have a chance. We still have a chance to the wild card, boys. We just gotta pick our things, uh, pick ourselves up right here. Seems like something's off. Just, just something off somewhere. Something's not working. It's that first line. I know it's that first line that's not working, but nothing I can do really. Our goals for, I mean, we are the best goal scoring team. Goals against, we're actually the worst defending team now, so we are we're giving up even more goals. Power play is really good. It's going up. And the penalty kill is going up as well. So it's just our 5-on-5 five -five, like, defense is horrible. It's atrocious. Yeah, it is what it is, boys. I'll keep the lineups like that. Uh, what I'm going to end up this uh, the moving, or what I'm going to end up modifying is the strategies again. So defense... Uh, defense is the way to go. I think we got to hold the blue line first off and let's try and trap it. We're going to trap it as much as possible. Uh, trap it and one to two blue line and a full attack. Defensive, not puck side attack. It doesn't seem to be working at all. Let's do contain the puck. I think that's what we might want to do. And defensive pressure, let's keep on collapsing. I obviously want to collapse. Seems that the power play is doing fine. And uh, what about a penalty, Gil? It's doing good as well, I think. Yeah. So I think we're doing good. We uh, That's the way to go for us. Now, we we can look, since we are at half the season uh, done, we're going to simulate another 10 games. And then we're going to start looking maybe we, uh, into uh, potential uh, trades that we want to do, boys. Because here's the thing. All right. So our first, there we go. There's a, a win against uh, Colorado. Uh, we get uh, another win against Dallas. Two wins in a row. There's another win. Three wins in a row. There we go. Let's keep winning, boys. Let's keep winning. There we go. Four wins in a row. Four wins in a row, boys. And there's a, a, our first loss after that. But four wins in a row, that's the way to go right there. I want to keep it going like that. So keep uh, keep winning, boys. There's another win against the St. Louis Sharks. A loss against uh, St. Louis. But can we get more wins? The Panthers want to give us Akiri or Asiri uh, for two third round picks and another third. Let me check up on that player, boys. Uh, here's the thing I wanted to tell you about is for the trades. Once we start looking for them, right? So for the trades, I'm actually going to limit myself to three trades only. There is only three trades I can do in a single season. That limits me quite tremendously. And I cannot, that allow, limits me to not be able, like, to do multiple amount of trades. Since I don't have, uh, like, limits for the salary cap or anything, I don't have that. I can basically sign whoever I want. So that means that for the trades, I got to limit myself somehow. So I'm limiting myself to three trades maximum. 
uh, per year. So three, a third and a fifth for their thirds in Asheri. Uh, how good is an 80 overall? What is he? Is a two way forward? Kind of garbage, to be honest. Not really sure if I want a guy like that, uh, to be honest. Maybe a right winger. Do you have a better right winger? I mean, you got some good ones. You got a, a, like a, a Ornquist, so power forward would be great. Vetrano is a two-way, so I don't want that. Maybe a, an or Ornquist would be great for us, a great addition. Doesn't matter for the salary. We are not looking at that, boys, because uh, yeah, it doesn't matter at all. Now, instead of a third line, say... Uh, a third round. Let's say we want to trade away one of our centers because we got plenty of centers. Uh, maybe not uh, Blackwell because he's going to be, he's our depth. But maybe a Geeky, for example, he's a young prospect, but he's a two way forward, boys, and he, he's not going to help us out at all. So I think we want to trade somebody like him. And uh, we want to trade somebody like him, get rid of the third round pick. Let's see if that's going to go true. Geeky and uh, a fifth uh, for the uh, Panthers for the uh, for their third and a sixth. Maybe it's not, I don't know if it's going to go true though, boys. Rejected, yes. So maybe a bit too much. Let me uh, see. Maybe not their third round pick. And actually, I want a, something closer. So maybe a fourth round pick. So uh, Ornquist and a fourth. There we go. Accepts it. So we got a fourth round pick for this year. Uh, upcoming year, uh, Patrick Orns Onquist in exchange for Gigi, a uh, Gigi and a fifth round pick for this year, boys. So we basically just simply upgraded our right wing position. That's all we did. We just uh, simply upgraded our right wing position with our power forward added to the mix, which is really gonna help us out. We needed the power forward. We need snipers, playmakers. That's what we we are looking for. Hornquist was having a pretty good, uh, decent season as well over there uh, with Florida. So it's going to be interesting to see what he can do for us. So since he's a power forward, he's got 85 of endurance. Uh, same thing as an Appleton. So I can switch them back and uh, put an Appleton. Uh, we can put him with Young Croc and Wimberg, which is going to even, uh, it's going to produce. These guys were already producing like crazy. They're going to produce even more boys now that they've got a, a, a guy like him. Unless we got to put... No, Eberle is just better overall. He's got uh, better things, better stats. We do have and I, I guess we can look at... No, Eberle is just a better player overall, I guess. Yeah, he's just a better player. So we can do that. If I do this, though, that, that would help out. Yeah, if I do Ornquist like this, that puts it at zero. So they stay like that. And that gives us a plus two overall for both lines. Eberle back to the second line. And we got an Appleton and stuff like that. So Yarn Croc. So that was our first trade. First trade of the of the season, boys. We have the right for two more trades, basically. We still got two more games of simulation that we got to do. Let's see what we got. Against, uh, uh, there we go, the, pe the Predators. We end up winning that game. One more game simulation. We lose uh, in regulation against the Pittsburgh Penguins. So our last 10 games, 6 and 4. So a positive uh, record, which is definitely what I want to see. So let's take a look at where we are. We're definitely in the wild card spot. Uh, we we have a chance. We can, well, here's the thing. We played more games than the Kings, though. That's the problem. So the Kings played less games than us, and they've got the same amount of points. We just got to hope for the best. We got to hope that we can make it in there. Push towards it and continue to just have, uh, at, towards the end, just positive uh, simulations. And we should be all right. So it's, uh, we're at 50 games. When is the trade deadline? I think it's at 60 games, right? I think the trade deadline, I'm not sure where is it at. Okay, the trade deadline is all the way over there. So we got plenty of time, actually. Yeah, I think we got plenty of time for that. All right, so let's just take a look. Do anything we need to upgrade at all? I don't know, boys. We're, we're about to find out. So we still are the best goal-scoring team. Uh, for the for the goals against, we went all the way down, which is a really good thing. We're go allowing way less goals, boys. We're a much better defensive team, so I think uh, we went the right direction for the defensive bar. Our power play is going down a little bit, but still good. Penalty kill is really con it continues to grow up, boys. So. 
trending up. So everything seems to be working fine. Maybe it's just the lineups now that we got to keep uh, working on. So let's just, uh, maybe I, there's maybe I should start looking now though for trades, potential trades. I'm not too sure what I should look into. Maybe like get rid overall of these goddamn two-way forwards that are the pain in me and my ass, right? Because Schwartz is is doing all right for two-way forward, but it's just hurting my team and Yanni Gold as well. I need to maybe find better forwards for the first line overall. I should probably try and find better forwards. Uh, we we're gonna simulate another ten games. We're gonna try another 10 games, boys. See where this leads us at. So there we go. There's a win against the uh, the New York Islanders and the New York Rangers. So both New York teams have lost against us. That's two wins in a row. Boston, uh, a third win. There we go. Back to back wins against them. There we go. And that puts us at four games in a win. Uh, four wins in a row right, right here, boys. That's a really, really good record. Against San Jose, there's a fifth win, boys. Fifth win. Uh, Nashville, let's see if we can win against them. Six win in a row. I figured that out, boys. I think I figured it out. I figured out uh, the right way of simulation for the simulation. Uh, uh, for our first loss after six wins in a row against the Capitals. Let's see real quick. Uh, we we'll go bounce back up with another sh uh, shootout loss. So really good. And uh, right here, what do we got, uh, got right here? Oh, Cholowski got injured. So we uh, lost one of our defensemen. Uh, Susie is still injured, right? Yeah. Blackwell is actually back. No, Alexiak's back. So they didn't tell me about the whole Alexiak thing. So I guess just put him back in there, boys. So Alexiak just goes back where he was supposed to do, uh, be in the first place. Um, we, uh, want... What do we want right here? We're looking for endurance, right? So they're both 80, 87. Seems like Susie is better though might be better yeah these guys are doing great we got two pairs that are doing good together so i don't want to mix it up so we're going to keep alexiak with uh flurry for now it seems to be working out like that so yeah there we go alexiak's back we got that was a win against uh the maple leafs last game assimilation against the ottawa senators and that's going to be a regulation loss three nothing and uh true once again got injured on the first line not good not good at all yeah he's got a stop being injured though can't be uh, p uh putting that player right there that defenseman on the first line for no reason all right so these guys seems to be let me see how they are playing actually yeah all right not good at all <laughs> actually really not good james nil doesn't seem to have uh, to be having a good time uh riley shahan is having a good time though i don't know i don't feel like my uh minor team is doing too good boys Kel Flurgy is actually doing really good. He's having a great season. What about the other ones, though? My elite player, which is Riker Evans. I think he grew a little bit. But he's not having a good season. He's having a pretty bad one. Not much I can do about that, though. And, uh, yeah, our, our goalie is not doing too good. All right. Well, it is what it is. And uh, over here. So let me uh, just see really quick. So we're, uh, we're here at after 60 games played. We got another 22 to, uh, to do. 63 points in 60 games played for Yarn Croc. Still our best player. Where are we at? We are in the wild card spot, boys. So we got a wild card spot so far. Uh, we just, like I said, that was by far best record. 8-2. A fantastic record right here. We got to keep like getting good records like this. Uh, um, for the last like two simulations we're going to have to do. So that's uh, really good. Let me just see against uh, Central Division. In the Central, they're really struggling, which is really going to help us out tremendously for the wildcard spot. Seems like the competitive uh, uh, division is ours right now. And for the rest, so if we take a look again at the stats, we want to look at the stats really quick again. Let's see if we went up at all, boys. So goal four per game, we went actually up on that. Goals against... We keep trending uh, upwards for uh, for on the positive side, which is good. Uh, penalty uh, power play is pretty much the same, and penalty kill is not really moving that much. It stays the same, so it's stable. It's still the worst, but it's stable nonetheless. So you know, aside from maybe changing the lineups, which is probably what's going to help at this point, there's not a whole lot I can do. Uh, so let's take a look really quick what we uh, can do right here. 
Let's most definitely uh, do a player search. And we're going to start searching for centers. Now, uh, forwards, I guess. So uh, the, let's take a look at forwards. And let's see if there's anybody like a, a center, uh, a replacement for possibly Yanni Gold that we can take, boys. Now, Yanni Gold, don't know if he's worth too much. Ovechkin is available, would be available. But uh, and of having Ovechkin on our team... Let me let me try it out, boys. Just for shits and giggles, let us let's, tr let's try and see, why what if if they would want to. I, I'm not sure how much uh, he's worth though. Uh, how much? Yeah, Schwartz is not much. Uh, is not worth much. He is an 85 though. Having an Ovechkin on my team would be fantastic. I would have to give up my first. I would definitely have to give up that. And since we don't know if we're going to make it to the playoffs just yet, I don't want to do that. Uh, I could, I am willing to give up a, a second. Uh, but uh, that's a bit, that, even that's not good. It wouldn't be enough, boys. Uh, do we have any rookie skaters? Unsigned rookies? Not really anything substantial. Nothing too good, yeah. So we don't have anything to bargain with. Maybe two seconds. We got a second and spare, so... Uh, for the second year. So maybe two seconds and Schwartz for Ovechkin. Let's try it. Rejected. Yeah, I'm not giving up that much for an Ovechkin. Ovechkin is going to have to wait his turn, boys. So yeah, we're, we're going to have to... Uh, we're gonna, he's going to have to wait, I guess. So let's keep looking. Uh, there's bound to be some good players. Like very low stats that we can probably go for. Uh, a Malkin, for example. Really good example right there. Malkin is a playmaker. Would be great addition to our team. Let's try and get him really quick, boys. I think that's a definitely a possibility. It's in the realm of possibility, possibilities for us. Uh, and Yanni Gold is kind of worth a little bit. He's worth a substantial amount. Plus, the Pittsburgh Penguins do want him. Now, we would have to, just like uh, the last thing, we would have to uh, give them like a second round pick or something. So let's see if just one second rounder and Yanni Gold for uh, Malkin's going to go through. Not quite. Uh, maybe a second and a third. Let's try and bounce it back. They accept it. There it is. Huge trade for us, boys. We just got our hands on Evgeny Malkin. He's coming towards Seattle. Help it. He's going to help us out tremendously. In exchange, we had to give up a second and a third. And Yanni Gold, which I'm more than happy to give up. Uh, Yanni Gold was a two-way forward. It was actually hurting our team. We don't want two-way forwards on our team, boys. We want Malkin. He's a sniper. He might be 35 years of age. But he's, he's still an exact elite. And look at the season he's having. Still a good old Malkin, boys. And he's going to produce quite nicely with us. Uh, with the way I'm doing my team. Uh, I'm moving my team. So uh, we uh, are going to straight up put him all the way there. Already he's there. That's going to be fantastic, boys. So already have someone great like this on our team. It's only going to benefit us. So we got a, play, a superstar um, center on our team now. And I want to get rid of Schwartz somehow. So we need to get rid of him. Do I want to flirt in my team or not? So I think any of these goaltenders would be great. But I'm not sure which one I want to take. Grubar is right in there. He's got a, liar. He's got a good, like, the same amount of... Value as a Tuka Rask. Uh, for Tuka Rask, I'd probably be able to get a draft pick or something. For Fleury, probably even. I don't know, boys. Fleury is still, still a great addition. Addition. Let me try and get Price. Let's make the trade of the century, boys. Let's try and get Carey Price in there. Why not, boys? I'm, I'm going all guns blazing right here. I'm going all guns blazing. Uh, Drieger for Price. Not going to go through like that. So we're definitely going to have to give them something. Uh, let's try and give them... We got uh, two fourth rounds. So two fourth rounds. And Grubauer for price. Rejected. Not going to go through. Uh, it's going to take a third round. For sure. A third and a fourth. Let's give them a third and a fourth right here. Not going to go through. It's going to take two thirds. Not, I'm not going any higher than two thirds, boys. So, uh, two thirds, not going any higher than this. So, two thirds and uh, Grubauer for price, not going. No, I'm not doing that. So, I'm not going for price, boys. That's not happening. 
So uh, let's try and go for instead, since I can't get price, we're gonna uh, try and get. Now Fleury is a bit too old though. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to Karas because Fleury is not having a good season right now. He's getting old, so maybe uh, a three, uh, having a two Karas would be a better option. All right, let's see if that and I, I might be able to get something out of that as well, like something in exchange, like a third round pick or something for this year. There we go. So I got a third. I'm happy with that. I could have tried to bargain a little bit more, like a second round pick or something, but I'm happy with what I got. So in exchange for Grubar, we got our hands on Tuka Rask, 90 overall, and a third round pick, boys, for this year. So perfect. Perfect, boys. And just like that, we upgraded our, D, our center position and our goaltender position, goaltending position. So that's fantastic. Uh, let's uh, put uh, Tuka Rask in there. There we go. All right, so I ended up changing the penalty kill for having Malkin and Ornquist is going to be on the second pair. Much better, boys. That's going to be better. So we did our third, our three uh, trades of the season. We did them. Those are done, boys. We, so we are not allowed to do any more trades from now on. So now that all these trades are done, we can move on properly and, uh, and do our thing. So... Let's do an extra 10 games just to see how the simulation goes for that. So let's see. Dennis Chalwolski is back. Let's put him back in there. Unless uh, Susie was doing... Actually, Susie was doing so good. I, I would hate to break that. I would hate to break anything up. He was doing really good. And Alexiak... I mean, I could try and get rid of Alexiak, I guess. And put uh, Chalwolski in there. I gotta put... No, I, I got to put... Susie was doing great, but I got to put him back in there. I got to put Chulewiski back. So, um, Chulewiski is 85 of endurance. And same thing for... Ale Actually, Alexiak has got better endurance. So, Alexiak going in there. Yeah, I think... Yeah, that's the way to go, really. That's just the way to go. That's just how it's going to have to go. No more trades. We cannot do any more trades. So, teams are going to start asking us for trades. We're actually coming up at the trade deadline. We actually ended up having a win uh, against the, uh, the Temple Bay uh, Lightning. And that's pretty much going to be it. True is back. Let's see what Baudouin as a defenseman in the first line did. Two, uh, two points, I guess. Two assists. So no, not bad, I guess. So there it is. We're, uh, we're back. And uh, now what? So we're going there. I guess I, I kind of want to look at the trade deadline, how it's going to go. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to stop it right here. We're actually doing decent right here. Uh, we're going to stop it right here. And uh, we'll see each other for the next video, boys. Remember to do the like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy.